great news, Leonard. I've solved my penny gift dilemma. Yippee. You see, the danger was that I might under or over reciprocate, but I have devised a foolproof plan. I will open her gift to me first and then excuse myself feigning digestive distress. Then I'll look up the price of her gift online, choose the basket closest to that value, give it to her, and then I'll return the others for a full refund. Brilliant. It is, isn't it? Is it okay if I hide them in your room? That smell makes me nauseated. Do whatever you want. Thank you. That's very gracious. <laughs> Gentlemen. Why couldn't you have just done what Leonard did and get Penny a new boyfriend? My leg is killing me, thanks for asking. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! How's your leg? Very good. Thanks for asking. Come on in. <laughs> oh, good, Penny. You're here to exchange gifts. <laughs> You'll be pleased to know I'm prepared for whatever you have to offer. <laughs> okay, here. <laughs> I should note, I'm having some digestive distress. <laughs> So if I excuse myself abruptly, don't be alarmed. Oh, a napkin. Turn it over. <laughs> to Sheldon, live long and prosper Leonard Nimoy. Yeah, he came into the restaurant. Sorry, the napkin's dirty. He wiped his mouth with it. <laughs> I possess the DNA of Leonard Nimoy. Do you realize what this means? <laughs> All I need is a healthy ovum and I can grow my own Leonard Nimoy. Okay, all I'm giving you is the napkin, Shelby. Be right back. Here, open it. Oh. Oh, the gift certificate for motorcycle lessons. <laughs> Very thoughtful. Yeah, and I checked. Not letting the bike fall on you while standing still is lesson one. <laughs> well, then I think you'll appreciate what I got you. Okay. A hundred and one totally cool science experiments for kids. <laughs> You know, because you're so into science. <laughs> Sheldon, what did you do? I know. <laughs> it's not enough, is it? Here. Saturnalia Miracle. 